this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. And like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a mess. I'm just every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. So with that said, I want to appreciate all the comments. Appreciate the energy that y'all bring in. Appreciate the support for the new people in the two-way community, first-time buyers and stuff. And I appreciate y'all for smashing that like button, people. That's how we get it out in the algorithm so we can reach more people and stuff, bring them into the two-way community. And I appreciate the ones been sharing my videos on social media platforms. And appreciate the ones been sticking with me through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. Nothing moves in straight line, people. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about gun range, people, gun range risks and stuff like that. So, you know, this story that we're going to go over um, this is something that happened in the gun range and stuff, and it happens time to time. We see it in the headlines. So right now, man shot friend before bystander fatally shot him um, at a gun range. So we're going to get into it. So two men, one who just purchased a pistol, were taking turn firing the weapon at the gun range on a state game land in Green Township. Now, that afternoon when one of the men turned on the other began firing on him according to pennsylvania state police investigators now the man in a neighboring shooting stall then fired his weapon at the shooter and apparently moved to stop the attack killing the shooter now investigators said state police are trying to determine why the man killed identified as 26 year old turned the gun on his friend now the crime section supervisor for state police um said that no charges has been filed um yet so um uh, right now um the man was pronounced dead at the scene of the shooting at the state game now um there was a four and a half hour autopsy performed on uh, wednesday by erie county forensics now they said that he um his gun he died of gunshot wounds to the torso now a 67 year old man who state police um said that he shot the 26 year old in question later released as part of an ongoing investigation on the incident now also questioned they said that the man shot the 26 year old identified by state police as a 28 year old man he was shot multiple times and he was taken to you know the hospital now the motive for the shooting is completely unknown now investigators have so far unable to identify the issue between the two men explaining the shooting that had happened now the shooting was reported by state police on Tuesday at 2.08 p.m. according to the reports. Now, the 28-year-old uh, uh, man arrived at the gun ring in separate vehicles with their girlfriends. Now, after one of them, one of the men had just purchased a pistol, they wanted to shoot the new gun. Now, everyone was taking turns shooting at the range at the point that the 26-year-old had fired five rounds when he turned and began firing the weapon at the 28 year old now who was standing about 10 feet away from him no apparent reason so the 60 old the 67 year old man who was at the range uh, who had no connection with the man's until my he basically fired on the um, man that was shooting at the other guy the other friend and you know that's what happened pretty much at the end i'm talking about you know he stopped the guy from you know doing whatever he was doing shooting and stuff so um as of right now um the investigator has spoke to everyone at the gun range during the incident including three people who was at the facility rifle range who said they did not witness the shooting but heard it so uh just got into that just read that article and stuff like that uh, when it comes to gun range people and stuff, a lot of people, I talk to a lot of people at gun ranges and stuff like that. You have people, you know, um, at the gun range and stuff. And, you know, you have people who are, you know, you don't know their mindset, people. I'm talking about this is something that, you know, two-way community really don't talk about too much. And, you know, I have covered these stories before on my channel and everything. A lot of people don't like to go gun ranges and stuff because you have some people who their mindset is not right. And, you know, in this situation here... Far as other reports I looked at, these two friends, there was no, no type of beef, no, you know, it, they, you know, they didn't see nothing, 
you know, the reason why this person would do that. You know, why would they turn on, he turn on his own friend and stuff. And like I said, some people's mindset ain't right, people. You can't judge people's mindset. You don't know what they're thinking of and stuff like that. And a lot of these situations, you know, you know, these are suicides, people. I'm to my, there's many reports out there where you have people at gun ranges who can't get a gun or, or whatever the case may be. Some, some of them can get a gun, but they go to the gun range and end up, you know, committing suicide, you know, shooting themselves or turn the gun on somebody else and turn the gun on themselves and stuff. And it's a small, these, this is not a huge issue. It's a small issue, but it gets a lot of attention at gun ranges and stuff like that. And we know gun ranges are very dangerous and stuff. You're supposed to keep the, the farm pointed down range at all times. And, you know, in the story, you say that, you know, they were sharing farms back and forth. I guess they were testing out this new gun and whatever the case may be. And then, you know, the friend started shooting at the other friend. So, like I said before, don't know what happened with that. But this is some of the risks and stuff that a lot of people has, you know, talked about and stuff like that. A lot of people don't like to go to the public gun ranges and stuff. And, you know, but like I said, overall, um, a lot of ranges I've been to been pretty safe. I never witnessed none of that or heard anything to, to gun ranges that I went to. Most people have, you know, um, a stable mindset, you know, at the gun ranges, but you do have a few um, that, you know, kind of, you know, it happens, people. I'm talking about it happens. So, I'm talking about, you know, a lot of you know the incident where we had the, the um, one of these, uh, uh, the military, uh, I can't think of his name right now, but you probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, he was in the military and, you know, he was like a sniper and stuff. You know, he was at a range. And, you know, he had a, someone that he was helping out turn the gun on him. He was killed. I'm to my, you know, them unfortunate situations and stuff like that. But these things happen, people. I'm to my, I ran over the article where a woman turned the gun on her son and then shot herself at a gun range. So these things that happen out here, people. But, you know, when you're at these gun ranges, people, you've got to be careful. This is something that, you know, we got to talk about, people, because it happened. I'm to my, you know, and like I said before, to my, a lot of these gun ranges are taking a lot of protocols and stuff like that now. And most of the time you have someone at the gun range who is armed and nearby and stuff like that. But, you know, these things happen, people. And, you know, to my, they're, they're, this is not something that is common, but it happens. To my, this is not something that you should worry about too much. But you, you, you must understand if you go to the gun range with somebody, especially if you don't know them well or a friend and stuff like that, I'm to my, if you see some signs and some issues and stuff that is going on, you got to kind of look at that. And that's why a lot of people is not comfortable just going to gun ranges with people like that, especially if you don't know them or you just meet up. You got to get to know people first and stuff like that. But in this situation, I don't know how long they was friends or what was going on behind the scenes with them, um, you know, that caused this person to do that. So, you know, maybe further investigation might reveal that for, for right now, for what I'm seeing, they would say there was no bad blood between the two. But... You know, it happened. So um, that person was shot. Um, the person that was um, shot at the gun range um, is out of the hospital and everything. So, but the person who took the gun on a friend was shot and killed by the bystander at the gun range. So the person at the gun range, see, these are some of the things that a lot of people don't think about that you never know what situation you might be put in in a gun range. If somebody doing something like this, you only have sections to so, okay, you know, to see what's going on and stop what's happening. And that's what the 67 year old did. He seen what was going on and he stopped the guy in his tracks before he can hurt other people, you know, put other people in danger and stuff at the range. So uh, to my, I just want to go over that story, people, give you some food for thoughts and stuff like that. So that is some gun news right now in the gun range and stuff like that. And this was in uh, Pennsylvania. So this is DC Channel Guns and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.